Good afternoon, guys, and we're up and we're running. How's everyone doing on this Saturday afternoon? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all in the best of health, the best of wealth, and hope you're being the best version of yourself you could possibly be. Welcome to my channel, guys, Joey Barnett TV. I like to upload as much content as I possibly can, um, but away from YouTube, I've got a very, very, very busy schedule. Even a busy schedule. Slow down, Joe, when you speak. This is the problem which I have, um, or what I've got. When I try and talk posh, or I try and talk something what I'm not, you know. I've, it just don't sound right, so I'm just better off going back to the old uh, South London accent, which I've got, and not um, putting any airs and fucking graces on these bits uh, and these stories. So, yeah, um, what you see is what you get of me, guys. Thanks for uh, landing on my channel, all those new subscribers. Thank you very much. I can see my channel growing uh, daily, slowly always wins the race for me and as I said on my community post time and time again I'd rather have 3,000 honest loyal uh, supporters or followers rather than 30,000 trolls because on my channel it's all positive and inspiring stuff I don't put nothing negative on my channel I don't run my channel in any negative way I don't slander people and I, I you know I just run the channel my channel is honest as, as I can, um, on my own, without bringing people onto my channel, which I don't need to do, to be honest with you, um, because I've got enough of my own stories. And yeah, I'm inspiring so many people across my channel, and I've pulled quite a few people out of dishes and dark places on my channel over the last few years, and I'm, I, I feel very grateful for that, I really, really do. But yeah, guys, I'm on form, I'm back in the game again, and I'm back to uploading. I feel absolutely great, especially now the weather started to change too. Um, this is when it, I shine, and this is my time of the year. The spring and the summer is me all over. As many of you know, I ride a motocross bike, and uh, I'm going to get out as much as I possibly can. And I've got this new truck now, so yeah, I can't wait to chuck the bike on the back, and off I go onto my uh, travels. And yeah, there's quite a few of us that go out riding together, so it's such a good day. It really, really is. Anyway, guys, as I promised you on my community post a few days ago, that I'll do a little story on Reggie Cray. So I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to live up to that story and I'm going to tell you exactly um, how I see Reggie and how I first met Reggie and what I thought of Reggie. Um, and by the way, I will not ever slander the dead. I won't ever, ever speak ill of the dead. And um, it'll only be a positive, positive um, story especially when someone's not here to defend themselves, you know. So uh, don't expect me to um, dish any dirt on Reggie Cray or, or Ronnie Cray, as a matter of fact. I don't didn't know Ronnie. I knew Charlie very, very well. I was in um, Belmarsh on the Cata unit on Houseplot 4 with Charlie when he, when he got his 12 years. So I'm, I've got a lot of stories about Charlie and a lot of stories about Reggie. Reggie and Charlie was totally, totally different people. To be honest with you, you wouldn't even think they were his brothers. Charlie was a very kind, loving man, loved um, a bit of banter, loved hearing stories, very friendly, very approachable, um, didn't really use his name as a weapon or any clout to get anywhere in the system. He was just himself and he was a really nice man, Charlie. Um, I'll do a video separately altogether about Charlie, yeah? But this one, I'm going to talk about Reggie. So... When I first met Medg Reggie, even, it would have been in the early 90s. And I think this was around 92, maybe 93, around them times there. Um, I was still a young offender. So I can't count back all them years. It's so many, so many years ago. I'm 50, coming up to 56 now. So, yeah, you're talking probably 30 years ago plus. Um, but the, that's the first time I see Reggie was 92, 93 in HMP Lewis. Um, and how I first see him was as we was... Um, coming outside reception in the sweat box through the gates at Lewis Prison. He was standing outside the laundry where, where he worked um, and it was a summer's day and he was standing there in a pair of um, sandals, a pair of um, shorts and a vest and he was waiting for the lads to get off the sweat box. And the reason why he'd done that every day was to see if he knew anyone getting off the box because he was in a good position uh, with his job. You know, he was, he was trusted by the screws, obviously, where he'd done so much bird, you know, and they let him have a free reign, basically, of the uh, yard, the whole yard, because he was working in the laundry, and you had to come on and off the wings, and yeah, so um, that's when I first met him, and um, 
I got off the bo got off the box and ran up to him quickly because I was only young, don't forget, and shook his hand and went, hello, Reg, um, my name's Joey and uh, nice to meet you, blah, 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 blah. How I knew it was Reggie is because, uh, you know, <clears throat> it was obviously, it was him because everyone on the, on, the, on the van was talking about it. There's Reggie Cray, there's Reggie Cray. And then when I looked at him and I see the photos and all the rest of what I see previously to meeting him, you could tell it was him. And yeah, he gave me a lovely, uh, kindly greet and meet, shook my hand. And um, he was on C wing, by the way, on Lewis. And that was a lifer's, lifer's wing. I was on A wing um, on the fours. I bet a few of you remember it. Um, and we were young offenders. All the young offenders went upstairs, upstairs on the fours even. Um, but during association time, uh, the, the ones, the twos and the threes was adults. And what we used to do, we used to run down the stairs uh, to do our bits and pieces during association. So, you know, although they did try and stop us young offenders mixing with the adults, they couldn't uh, because it was only, you had um, a, two sets of stairs, you know, right at the beginning of the wing and right at the end of the wing, you had stairs and we could run down them. And they had just a little, uh, like a wire, wire gate put across and we used to just climb over it. Um, and most of the time when the screws would catch us on the uh, adults wing, they wouldn't, wouldn't really have a go at us. They'd just say to us, you know, get back on, onto your normal landing and maybe give you a warning or something like that. So that was when I first met Reggie. Um, I didn't really see him much after reception. Um, I did see him in the church. I'm not going to really talk about uh, what happened in the church because it would be a negative thing. Um, but he was sitting behind me. Yes, he was sitting behind me in, in, on the um, stalls behind me. Um, so, anyway, jumping forward now, going right way forward uh, till 1999 when I was in Parkhurst. Yeah, um, went into Parkhurst, went on to a -ring in Parkhurst and... Um, they must have, they must have used C wings as life is wings or long term as wings, because he was on the wing opposite opposite me. But during the exercise, all the wings integrate. We all met each other, so that's how um, you know we all met each other on on the exercise. And um, I, I you know I started to um, walk out with Reggie every morning, walking around the yard with him, and I started to run with him because he was a fitness fanatic. Um, and then he asked me if I wanted to go down the gym with him, you know, a few days a week. And I started to go down the gym with him. And what we used to love playing with each other was badminton. That was the best thing in the world. It really was for us. You know, it was good for your CV um, and a good game, an enjoyable game. And Reggie beat me at first because obviously he had years experience. But yeah, I literally learned how to play badminton um, with Reggie Cray. And then I started training with him um, on the gym, in the gym. And we'd go on the punch bag, there was gloves there, you know, and we'd go on the gloves together and we'd hold, we'd hold, you know, hold the bag for each other. And, you know, I'll never forget, never ever forget when I used to hold the bag for Reg and he used to punch that bag with a combination, a left and a right, or a double left and a right hook. I'll tell you something now, he used to knock my body backwards. He was one powerful little man. But as in a person, Reggie was a really nice down to earth man. Uh, the same as Charlie, much like Charlie in some sense, whereas he didn't really you need to use his name. Although he was aware that he was famous, you know, he didn't chuck that in people's faces. And the screws did give him quite a lot of leeway. They used to leave his cell door open because they knew he weren't going nowhere. He had probably done 20, 28, 30 years by the time I'm talking about now, 99. Um, so, yeah, he was a really nice guy. Um, as I say, he wasn't flashy, he wasn't arrogant. He was very, very approachable. You know, and to be totally honest with you, now, now, 2024, I do really wish that like, I'd have got his autograph and got his sign, got him to sign bits and pieces. But when, you know, when you're in the mix, when you're in prison with these high profile, uh, you know, chaps of the of the old school days, you know, the last thing on your mind is is for you to ask him for an autograph because the way I look at it was the way I see it was, and the way we all see it was. You know, we was all on each other's levels. There was no one higher than no one. There was no hierarchy in the prison, you know. He might have been famous. He might have been notorious. He might have been violent outside. But he certainly wasn't that in jail. Actually, in jail, he was a model prisoner. 
And yeah, he, he was really, really a nice guy, guys. But I'm going to end this video here because I'm 10 minutes in and I've got part two and part three to do with me and Reggie, guys. I hope everyone has a good weekend. The sun's just started to come out for me. I hope the sun's out for you and I hope you're all having a good weekend. Peace.